and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then welcome come and join us for this huge Poundland haul I know you all love a bargain shop haul and um, they always seem to get really good views and I went in and did some damage this time in Poundland I think I spent £30 so there's a couple of things that I'm not going to show you just because they're a bit boring and every day but I will tell you what I bought um, but there's a good mixture there's some um essentials some home stuff there's a few bits that i've been looking out for for a while that i finally managed to get my hands on and then a lot of stuff that i really didn't intend to buy but this is what happens when you're going to poundland isn't it always end up buying way more than i actually intended to so the things i won't show you is some drinks so i had the two little ones with me when i went shopping this time and if any of you've got kids you'll know that as soon as you're out of the house they're hungry they're thirsty so i just picked up some drinks in there they're two for a pound so it's pretty decent price and it keeps them happy if i let them have some juice while we're out it makes for a quiet life so pick those up and then food bits um picked up some of these these are the fox's viennese milk chocolate biscuits they are delicious and in pan and there are two packets for a pound which is really good most places they're about 89 79p a pack or um, a pound a pack so that's quite good we also picked up some barney bears um my kids absolutely love barney bears they're great for a little snack it's just like a sponge um cake with uh chocolate filling these ones are chocolate you can get all sorts of different fillings these were opened i mean they don't last five minutes in our house but a pound for five little cake bars and as a little snack now and again it doesn't hurt does it um also picked up some Kleenex box tissues just to dot around the house um, the little ones have constantly got colds I think it's just they're just walking germs once they're at school so I always like to keep some boxes of tissues around the house and I prefer the Kleenex ones to sort of their own brand supermarket ones and stuff they're a bit thicker um, and they, they just seem to be a bit better um, some cleaning essentials I didn't pick up much cleaning um, stuff because I have a cupboard full of cleaning stuff I am disappointed however that every time I go into pan on there there's never any Sephora I think Mrs Hinch has just rid the world of Sephora everyone is buying it so you can't find or I haven't been able to find it in my local poundlands recently um, and I'm always on the lookout for new scents of Sephora but um, this time all I picked up were these um, colour grabbers uh, just to chuck in the wash so that if we've got anything that's going to run this sort of picks up all the all the running colours and stops your clothes getting ruined um, you only get 10 sheets for a pound but um, don't use them on every wash just if we've got new things or something that's particularly dark which I think might run the next one's a bit weird and I think you're all going to think I'm a bit strange for buying them but it's these Justin Mitts there's this bit of the story behind these. Um, my kids apparently love these. My mum has some Justin mitts. I'm not sure if they're the same ones as these. But um, apparently every time they're at our house, they ask for the Justin mitts and they do her dusting for her. Now, dusting is not a job that I enjoy doing. Um, and I was on the lookout for some Justin mitts. So when I saw them, I picked them one up each. Um, so it's just got the really um, thick part on the one side and then this is a much um, smoother, softer side, that side. And yeah, they, I mean they're quite pretty and I thought they were a pound each but when they're scanned they were only 50p each so I got two for a pound which is quite good. And if they then do all the dusting for me that's even better. So I also picked up some hand sanitizer. This is the Cuta Cura one in the original um floral and fruity scent it smells quite nice um i just keep a little tub of this on my desk at work so that i can regularly apply it as well as like the kids constantly sneezing and coughing there's always people sneezing and coughing around the office so i like to just keep some hand sanitizer um this is gonna look excessive but i picked up some toothbrushes yes quite a few toothbrushes so there is a sort of story behind this. Uh, we te we've all got um, electric toothbrushes, but I have got to go on a trip for work just to do some training. So I'm going to be away for a couple of nights. So I thought rather than take my electric one, I would just pick up a little manual one. So that one is for me and it's a Aquafresh Complete Care in medium. Um, and while I'm away, my mom is going to look after my two little ones and so i picked up a toothbrush for them too so that they can just take that one rather than taking the ones that they have at home and then i just picked up 
some um, Sensodyne ones for my husband and my eldest because uh, I prefer the softer ones. So yeah, lots of toothbrushes there, which seems a bit crazy. Um, also, I picked up some of the Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection for kids for my two little ones to take to their nans with them. And some Johnson's Baby Shampoo. A pound for quite a big bottle, I think it's 300ml. And no, I'm not having any more babies. Three, I think, is enough for anyone. Um, I bought this to just clean my beauty blenders and brushes with, uh, rather than using anything... I mean, you can buy the proper brush cleaner and stuff, but I'm always a bit weary about um, chemicals on my skin. So, yeah, Johnson's Baby Shampoo, I've heard works just as well. And obviously, it's quite delicate because it's for babies. And for a pound, that will do me very nicely. And then I picked up these, which I haven't seen in um, Poundland before. They're the original source, and these are moisturising shower milks. And they smell amazing. I mean, I really didn't need a shower gel, really. This one is sweet apple and vanilla. I mean, it is quite a sweet smell, but I've got some on my nose. But that is really nice. Um, and I do like the original source stuff. Um, it's a 100% recyclable bottle. It's made in the UK. It's paraben free. It's vegan. It has natural moisturizers. I mean, there's a lot of good things with this. And for a pound, you get 250 ml, and I think that's really good. The other scent I picked up was cherry and almond, which, to me, it just smells like cherry bakewell, oh, which is delicious. Really, really nice. So, yeah, got two of those, which are really nice. Um, these were new. Hadn't seen these before. These are little face masks, which I'd never seen in there before. I'm not sure if they're made specifically for Poundland, um, but they looked interesting. There was three different types, but I've just picked up... Um, the avocado and oats one and one is for me and one I will be giving it away to a friend and it just says beautifully scrumptious avocado and oats face mask contains natural extracts suitable for vegans so it just comes in this little tub um I just was really interested by it so it says a rich thick blend of brilliance is all you have I wanted in a face mask enriched with avocado oats aloe vera and vitamin e to exfoliate moisturize and nourish your skin Apply a generous layer to freshly cleansed face and sit back and relax. Leave the mask to dry for 10 to 15 minutes until touch dry. Splash your face with warm water and gently massage in circular motions to let the oats get to work. Gently exfoliating your skin, then rinse off. Um, yeah, so this is against animal testing, suitable for vegans, made in the UK, all good, good things. And yeah, I thought that sounded quite interesting. I thought I'd give it a try for a pound. I mean, it is only a little pot. You get 75 mils in there, but that should do a couple of face masks. So yeah, I thought I'd do have one for me and one for a friend. So next up, I picked up this um, beauty blending sponge. I think this is part of the Mother's Day range, but I thought this was really cute. It's got like a marble effect on it. I'm not sure how good that will be, but I thought to go in with like a little gift, they're quite cute. It's nicely packaged with this little pink ribbon on. So yeah, I well, thought that was quite nice for a pound. Um, also picked up a little notebook. I absolutely love notebooks. Um, it's a bit of an obsession really, stationery and notebooks. Um, there's not a great amount of pages in it, but um, it's a nice enough notebook. And I really liked the sort of geometric print design with the sort of coppery rose gold on it. So I picked that up for a pound. And then my daughter desperately needed a new pencil case. Um, she is a stationery addict the same as me. She had the Smiggle advent calendar for Christmas, so we have tons of stationery. But she quite often tries to put too much into her pencil cases and splits them. So uh, while we're in Poundland, she picked up this emoji one, which is quite a big one, um, and it's that plasticky material, so hopefully won't get ruined too quickly. And for a pound, that was okay. Then I picked up some storage items, which are a bit boring, but you got a two pack of the little grey plastic trays and these bigger ones if I can get them apart for one pound each just thought I would use these in my bathroom I've got um, a trolley from Ikea which I've been using all to store all my bathroom bits and pieces in but it's just a mess and nobody else knows where anything is other than me so I thought I would use these to try and tidy it up neaten it up um, and I also picked up the smaller ones either as well for the bathroom or to try and sort out my sort of beauty makeup bits into 
because they're at the moment they're all in like little um makeup bags and sort of travel bags and things and I'm actually going away and I don't think I've got an empty travel bag or like a makeup bag anywhere so I don't know what I'm putting all my stuff into so maybe if I can tidy some of my things away into those that will help um that's two bits are both homeware bits so I hadn't seen these artificial plants in Poundland before um I am terrible with plants I will kill them I don't I remember to water them. I don't know how I keep my children alive because I certainly can't keep a plant alive. But I saw this artificial one and I thought it looked quite realistic for an artificial plant. I really like the sort of concrete -y, um pot look and we're having a kitchen um extension at the moment which if you can hear any banging or anything in the background that's what it is. It's my husband working on the extension and um we're going to have some little shelves in there and I thought this might look quite nice in the little shelving unit just as a little plant and i don't have to remember to water it and it's not going to die um i might get some real ones as well i did, was eyeing some up in ikea the other week although they did have artificial ones as well um so i might get a few more to put with this but this was the only one in poundland that i really liked there was like a purpley one and there was um a big sort of cacti one um but they just really looked fake whereas i think this one looks quite realistic um so yeah happy with that little piece and the last one I've been looking for in Poundland for quite a while I've seen it on a few people's hauls and it is this I'm not going to show you my, the rest of my bedroom because it's an absolute mess there's washing everywhere because of all the work downstairs and all the dust I've got everything in my bedroom at the minute so um yeah it's a mirror it's a black frame it's round and what I'm going to use this for is to actually put on my um dressing table although well, we don't really have a dressing table as such but um just to put all my little perfumes in because they keep getting knocked over they're falling down the back of the cupboard that they're stood on so i thought if i could pop them all in here and then they won't fall off the shelf or the cupboard they'll just sit in this little mirror and also this would be nice for taking instagram photos putting things on with the little mirrored base so yeah for a pound i thought that was really good and i thought you could um either use it as a mirror or use it for other things quite liked that they had loads of different colors and that's the problem i've seen um gray the, i did pick up the gray one initially but i didn't like the light gray um i would have preferred a darker gray they had white um i can't remember what other colors they had but they had quite a few different colors in this but yeah i've seen that in a few people's hauls and i've been looking out for that so glad i finally got that and hopefully i won't knock on my perfume everywhere now and that is the end of my poundland haul and that was literally 30 quid spent in poundland I don't know how I do it. I'm going to have to stop going to Poundland and spending so much money. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with all my things. What was your favourite item? Let me know down below. Um, are you a Poundland ad addict like I am? I mean, there must be some sort of help group for this bargain shop addiction that we have. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, guys. And I will see you again for another video soon. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Bye.